Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Uh, today we're going to be back at the bank system and still with the selector but um, well what my problem was is that if uh, if anyone else is going to use this then they're going to want to be able to program in their own codes and so I was thinking is there a way I can make that easier? Is there a way that it's simpler to enter in your codes? To program them in so um, this is what I've created now it's become much bigger by the fact that you I we programming them in um, so if we look over here you'll see that it's grown by one and a half like no so the other one would have been here and here so you could fit two more and a half into this section and yeah so I'll show you the uh, password programming in so we've got an admin code which is 3142 which is of course the oops so you can get through there and then I'll just turn flying off. So we come down here. Uh, this is what opens the door. And so, um, right. Here is all the different places for setting up the passwords. So if, like, for player seven, I wanted to set up a code um, uh, one. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. One. Oh no, okay, so I, um, one thing I've got to mention: the lights are on for the thing you want. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. So, number uh, they're all in order as well, which is a little feature I added. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now we've got that set, we can run back to the home base, or the admin can go back. You can go back underground. I'm just going to go over the top and fly okay so now we're here I can hit one four six eight and so admin one two three four five six seven see player seven is on right so at the beginning a uh, change that has happened is I've um, took it out of these so that they become ordered here so this is one two three because before I was having it in different orders because I was just making it easy for myself to get them out but now just doing a bit of you know taking them over under and you know looping them all around I managed to get them in order and then we got what we had last time where we simply put it into an arsenal latch this line here is detecting uh, presses I'll tell you about that later so once it comes to the arsenal latch it's switched round and then it goes through this um, system for passing it through these different decoders now the problem we were having or I was having was the fact that to program it in what I did was place um, torches underneath so that if that torch under there is on this one becomes off so that it doesn't that one doesn't need to, that line doesn't need to be on for that one to be off you see what I mean so like that's how we choose what code we want and then um, 
if we do have one there, if we do have power coming up there, which would be on. Uh, let's try this one. No. Are they all off? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, but if they were on, say I went down here and turned that one on then that one there would power something there so when you pass through the message it would interrupt it so for that reason I had to uh, develop this system to spread it out so that I wasn't using this uh, any power here and to make this more compact I shifted them left to right as well so you'll see that goes left and that goes right and left. Um, these are all the outputs here and then this up here is uh, to detect if any signals of them are on and if so then it comes to this AND gate here and this is the uh, detector where if a, another impulse comes through a message also comes down this line so if this line is on then it will, if this line comes on and this line is also on, then it will send a message through the reset. So if the code's currently through and another impulse comes through, it resets it. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.